So today we're going to be taking a close look at the new toolbox added by the create mod, which has honestly become my new favorite block in all of Minecraft. So the toolbox comes in 16 different colors and can be picked up by clicking it in survival mode. When you craft these, they come out as brown. So their crafting recipe is very easy, very cheap. Two golden sheets, a leather, a trap chest or a regular chest, and a cog wheel. And then to dye them, it's very simple. All you got to do is use whatever dye color you like and you'll get that color. Those toolboxes can also be named. So you can name your toolbox and when it's named and you place it down, it'll keep that name. So you can see on the one probe, which is what shows you what the block is up top, it actually shows you the name of the box. And when you open it up, you'll actually see that name in here. Now, when you see me open this up, you'll notice that there's eight different inventory slots. Each of these inventory slots can hold up to four stacks of items. Now, the stack size is dependent on the default stack size. So for instance, stone bricks stack up to 64, so I can fill up to 256. Signs stack up to 16, so I can fill up to 16. And stone pickaxes and all other tools stack up to one, so I can stack up to four per. If I were to try to put more in there, basically what it'll do is just keep filling up around and won't let me stack more than that four stack amount. Now, the use of the toolbox is very dissimilar to a shulker box. Where a shulker box, you throw items in, take items out kind of willy-nilly. Um, they're a lot more flexible than a toolbox. What a toolbox's purpose is, is to basically have your setup and use it for that purpose. So for instance, if I have a toolbox for a specific project that I'm building or a specific excavation that I'm digging out, I would set it up for that and leave it in that setup. The reason is, is because when I take all my stone pick pickaxes out of here, what you'll notice is that it stays a stone pickaxe. So this slot will always be a stone pickaxe. Now I can't just clear this out by clicking on it, um, but it will stay a stone pickaxe. And the reason is, so if I just take some stone pickaxes out, some stone bricks and some signs, there's this button in the middle that says return items to toolbox. So if I'm going off using my items, I can just click that button and it'll automatically return them. So just to give you guys a quick example, I have this little nether toolbox over here. So I can place this down and take some items out. So let's say I'm going off to build a little house and I wanna grab some of these blocks and I build my little house or whatever. So let's quickly like throw some blocks down as an example. So we just pretend that that's a beautiful looking house and I'm all done building. I want to put my blocks back. All I got to do is go into my chest toolbox, click the return items to toolbox and it'll automatically sort them into the toolbox. This by itself is super powerful and there's a lot you can do with this. You can have your sets of tools that you say you only need for fighting mobs or for digging holes and you want to return them. You can very easily quickly just return your items to toolbox and bring these toolboxes around with you and use them when you need them. Now where this tool becomes really cool to amazing is if you hold left alt, you'll get this little wheel that'll show up. And what this does is it shows you the eight toolboxes that are nearest to you. So you can see you have nether, flowers, red sand, and <laughs> there's our original box. And what I can do is actually click on these and it'll show me the inventory of that box. Now in that inventory, what I can do is I can click on one of the blocks. So if I want to click my stone bricks, you notice that my first inventory slot, which is the one I have highlighted, turns into stone bricks. So if I want stone bricks there and let's say I want signs in this other one, I can go back into my toolbox click my stone pick, and now I have my stone pick there. Then I want signs in this middle one. Um, oops, <laughs> wrong, wrong box. Um, so if I want signs in here, I go hi, signs, and then I got my signs there too. So then when you're done using these, what you can do is you can hold alt, and it'll bring you right back to that specific toolbox if I'm hovered over that item. So I can either just unequip them, or if I want to get rid of all of them once, I can click return items to toolbox, and it will turn all the items in that toolbox to that toolbox. Now, there's a lot more we can do with this. So in the original wheel, you'll see that there's this return items to nearby toolboxes. So let's say if I were to take a few different items out of my nether box, so we have some red nether bricks, some regular nether bricks, and some nether rack. Then I also go into my end box and take some stuff out of there. 
So I take some stairs, some bricks, and some slabs. What I can do is I can either highlight one of them, and then this will bring up the end box, and I can return items to the end toolbox. Or what I could do is I could go over a blank slot, hold Alt, and then return items to nearby toolboxes, which will sort into all of my toolboxes. So if I had 10 toolboxes, each with a different count of items um, that I always use for building, I can very quickly access those and quickly return them. So other than building, there's a lot of really cool stuff we can do with the toolbox. So I have this little tools toolbox set up that has a whole bunch of tools in it, and we're just gonna grab a wooden shovel. Now, this would be really useful for early game where you want, need to craft a bunch of iron picks and you're planning to break them all and you don't have like your super fancy enchanted tools yet. So I have my wooden shovel. If I go over here and I mine this dirt block, you'll see as soon as it breaks, instantly we have a new one replacing it, which is super, super useful, especially for early game when you're breaking a whole lot of blocks and mining up a lot of space with kind of basic tools. Now, if I were to grab another broken one and I were to run off, what I'll notice is we actually go out of range. So you'll see that the little red highlight goes from light to dark. Now when you're out of range and you hew something up, whether that's blocks or a tool, basically it'll break, but you'll notice that the outline is still there. The reason the outline is still there, as soon as we go back into range, we get our items filled up again. So for example, if I was building with my nether bricks and I was building with my gold ore, uh, actually, we need to take it out of the box. So if I was doing my gold ore and I ran all the way over here and used every single one of these 32 blocks, what will happen is as soon as I go back into the spot, it'll fill me back up. So I run back over, I get close, and it fills me back up with my red and nether gold ore. Another really neat trick that you can use these boxes for is, let's say I'm off mining a whole bunch of red sand off in a mesa. What you can do is you can fill your box up with red sand. Go pick up all your red sand, and now, oh, if I'm full, what you can do is you can either click on your red sand box or just simply return item to nearby toolboxes, and it'll just fill up our red sand box with our red sand. And very quickly, we can clear out our inventory and go back to mining. We don't have to spend time sorting all of our stuff into the right shelter box or right chest. We can just very quickly organize it just by holding Alt and going to our red sand box. Now, because I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask, yes, they do work with shulker boxes, but with one big caveat. So they do stack up to four. So if I were to grab four shulkers, I can actually put four of them in here. But the issue is they have to have the exact quantity and amount and location of items. So for example, I have one with 64 planes and one with 64 cobblestone. These two cannot be stacked together and I cannot put one in the other's slot. They have to go in that exact same location with the exact items in it. So what this could be really useful for is if you are farming hundreds and hundreds of sand and you need to be able to store that. If every one of these shulker boxes is going to be 100% full of sand, that would be a good case to use a toolbox that we can carry around essentially 32 shulker boxes full of whatever block you want in one single inventory location. Now what you cannot do is put a toolbox in a toolbox. That is as expected because then basically you would have infinite items. So the crates do in fact work with contraptions. So I've got a crate here with some wool in it and you'll notice that it'll actually be able to automatically take stuff out. And we can actually pump stuff into toolboxes. So Got my toolbox here with the wool in it. You'll see it'll pump it into the correct spot. If we put an empty toolbox in, it'll actually fill up and create those slots. So you can actually use these in your contraptions. Now the toolboxes do actually have a range. So that range is nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I went nine blocks away or more, I would not be able to access the toolbox. But honestly, I think that's a pretty decent range and really gives you a good amount of room to work with to access your toolbox from a pretty good space. So there is a lot of very, very cool stuff you can do with toolboxes, and I've highlighted just a few of them. So if you guys can come up with any other things that you think that these toolboxes can be used for, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.